it's only coming to light the last few years for a lot of people, for me, for maybe the last 10, uh, how much of the machine is geared towards driving you into Some those kind of problems. medication. Yeah. yeah, something, right? Like. Hi guys, this is Play It Again. I'm Ginger. And I'm Mike, and the algorithm brought us something because we listen to a lot of Ren. Yes. Somebody called Knox Hill, who we're not familiar with, no. featuring Ren. So. Yeah, I was I'm a, I was a little surprised because I know that Ren has been tweeting out about his uh, some of his physical struggles have returned, and he's been trying to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little surprised, but who knows when this got done? But not it me. was released. I just know nothing. <laughs> it was released two days ago. So, uh, but we love Ren and uh, huge supporters of him. Mm -hmm. And his music. So let's see what Knox Hill has to offer. Maybe we got a new one for the list. I don't want to take the, what Knox Hill has no. to offer if it's fentanyl. Fent yeah, I feel like this is going to be really dark. Yeah. Well, let's get it. Conscious rap was vibing, but they said it wasn't selling. So instead of tribe, the question was for highs. I guess I get it. But we sold our daylight souls and reassigned the proper metrics. Violent rap survived and Darwinized the prophet zealots. Survival of the fittest. Trade your bars for gems and you'll be shining. That's the realest. In this climate of addiction style, Big Pharma is the realest. Now, as long as pills are filling, you ain't really got to feel the cell. The world is full of juice, so while you floating, you've been finna drown. How many rappers out here missing now? But they sell you with this vision and this fear of missing now. The industry will fuck us, so we follow what is trending. Brag about these hollow tips, but it's all hollow tip dependent. I lace my verse with fentanyl and lean into attention. Toe tags for dimensions, body bags for what they spending. While they brag and we descended from the ground, we all descendants now. Sinners don't sleep in this broken town. Trading their souls for some golden brown. Come back down, but when I'm coming up, killers on the city streets bagging it up. Crooks and addicts with habits get rushed. We living in vain just to end it all, and I spend it all on the spending My cousin was a pitcher on that curve. He got that scholarship on campus. He's the man. Throwing heat as he was hot as shit, but then he hurt his arm. Senior year, it's time to prove it. Started taking painkillers so he could play and keep it moving. Scouts watching, couldn't lose him. So he took more and he kept using. For he knew it, he's abusing. Fastballs and two seams. Too clean, but now he's losing weight. Drug test, he failed. So they kicked him off the team. He tried to kick the habit, but he's mad that he had lost his dreams. It's sad, but he got off the lane. But all it takes is one reminder. In his mind, he could couldn't help it, he was trying to finally settle Midnight he went outside He was fighting with his devils One hit he told himself, it'll help me through this hell I know I'm sick and I need help But one hit, man, what the hell? So he lit it, then he took it to the face But as the story goes, you know that fentanyl is lace Sinners don't sleep in this broken town Trading their souls for some golden brown Feel the release, come back my heart you took my fucking life took my pride you took my mind took who i am and turned to vice took my fam i burned the price and now i stand on murder time and all my plans have turned to ice i burn in fire build this pyre higher i'm wired in this dopamine get higher still a broken fiend supplier of the hopeless dreams when it's all smoke the only ropes are one that chokes would they remember me take all my memories and light them on this fire Fire for the crooked dealer, he who packaged hate. Fire for that greedy villain, he who had it laced. Fire for my future, that look on my father's face. My mother's still in tears, my cousin, he's too far away. When they told me to get help, and yes, I tried, I tried again. But in the end, we're all just veins. And in the end, it came to veins. And in the end, I died in vain. And in the end, I tried to fuck it. <sighs>
That's crushing. Wow, really? And powerful, my goodness. Now, drug addiction's never been anything either one of us have personally struggled with, but we have had friends that have had their struggles, mm -hmm. right? And I certainly understand the temptation. As somebody who lives through chronic pain without drugs, mm -hmm. <laughs> I totally get it. Um, but also, I mean, the commentary, it isn't just about individual weakness or, or, or weakness is not the right word, um, vulnerability, mm -hmm. I think. There's... It's only coming to light the last few years for a lot of people, for me, for maybe the last 10, uh, how much of the machine is geared towards driving you into Some those kind problems. Of medication. Yeah. yeah, something, right? Like, I used to have the worst struggles with depression on three, four different drugs just to try to mediate all of the different symptoms and problems and every time you went into the doctor it was something new and now that I've had a clean break from those things by making other choices the community of people that I'm in that share stories of when they broke up with their doctors because every time they went in there trying to propose a solution or showing the 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 benefits of of lifestyle solutions that, that, that involve just diet changes and lifestyle changes, uh, getting, I don't know, trampled by their doctors. Well, yeah, I mean, the doctors are, are perversely incentivized. They're part of the machine. If it's not opiates it's uh, or opioids, it's uh, SSRIs yeah. or it's, uh, you know, whatever. Now you it's Ozempic. You need this for your weight loss. You need this for your blood pressure. You're like, I don't, I don't know what the percentages are but how many couples do you think in the 50 in their 50s like we are are on zero drugs um in our community Just, now no, probably I mean, a lot but I mean, like on your, your average people right like we're in a lot of fitness community and diet communities that that they're kind of woke to the to the more natural way of life but in your average society right like almost none Almost none. A lot of the mom groups I was in when we had younger kids, uh, there was lots of discussions about, oh, this SSRI isn't working for me. Uh, what is everybody else using? And hundreds of comments, right? And it's like, I can't believe how many of these women just struggle through every day and they're just popping pills. And I know this because their doctor's telling them that's the only way. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get... Like right now we're in a crisis. You have children on things like this you have babies dying of fentanyl because because they see their parents and their peers just popping pills for everything mm -hmm. so it, it's no longer stigmatized that a pill could be dangerous mm -hmm. they, they don't even conceive of that right yeah and you have a lot of i don't know new age woke mommies that are now actually almost shoving pills into their kids mouths and it's really something to see yeah. it's crisis doesn't even begin to touch on what we're seeing these yeah. days. Yeah, so I'm, but I mean, back to the video and the song, I mean, this certainly captures one prominent element of it in a pretty stark and Well, the fact of the matter is, hard this way. is where it always, almost it always ends up leading, mm -hmm. right? Like this is a, 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 a firm picture in the dark end result of all of this, these problems, yeah. this crisis, right? Yep. Like this is where you're getting led to, to the point where your life is in jeopardy all the time, yeah. right? And you can't even see it because the haze you're in just clouds everything. And, and there's almost nothing out there to help you. Yeah. No, it's grim. It's, it's grim. It's really yeah. awful. Yeah, what a terrible story. I feel awful about that. It was uh, musically powerful. Yeah. Right, like the dark undertones of the music oh, were good. Fantastic, I really, right? a, lot, yeah. a lot of beautiful music in in the background. Uh, you know, that that first verse uh, was about the the recording industry, right? Mm -hmm. And the second one about the baseball playing cousin. But like that that first verse, I was thinking, this sounds so much like like Eminem's complaints about the industry that he's done in some of his songs, right? Yeah. Um, you know, going back decades. Yeah. And. Uh, well, we already know the music industry is having their problems. Yep. Um, we're starting to see some of that coming out now, aren't we, P. Diddy? Diddy? 
<laughs> or did he not? I think he did. But that's there just so uninformed conjecture. Darkness. So yeah. much darkness. It's staggering to me. And actually, the truth is, some of my grungier, darker days, right, when things were a uh, hard scrabble for me, and they were. Mm -hmm. like my life was very hard um, back in the day. I count myself so friggin' lucky that I just, by sheer chance, not any kind of will or personal strength, by sheer chance managed to avoid having this kind of problem. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful. We're all grateful. Oh, we like you, Ginger. I can't even imagine the kind of pressure some of these people are under. Mm -hmm. It's amazing anybody makes it out alive, honestly. Yep. Oh, so, anyway. Oh, that was a dark reminder. But, uh, but an excellent job of getting a message out there that's it's true. desperately needed. It's true. If that, if that song scares like five kids off of fentanyl before they try it, like that's a huge victory. Yeah, I, I mean, it'd be and, and it hard should, one. Should do a lot more than five. But, Indeed. Uh, just saying it. Indeed. It's it's uh, it's a good thing. It, yeah. All right. So, nice introduction, and uh, hopefully, Ren, your health troubles get better. I'll be keeping an eye out on my Twitter. We like to keep track of these things. We're mm -hmm. pitching for everybody in this scenario. And in the meantime, why don't you just play that again? <laughs> 